Okay, hello everyone, it's me. Um, welcome to um, uh, my live stream. So yeah, I hope you guys have all enjoyed the live stream so far. It's been, uh, I think, half an hour. Um, so yeah, I'm saying welcome that half an hour in. But yeah. It is half an hour. And thank you for that nice slurp of your nose. <laughs> you just did. You want me to put in mute whilst you blow your nose? Uh, yeah, that would be great, actually. Or I can just not put it on mute whilst you blow your nose, and that would be just as disgusting as well. Do you want to go blow your nose? I should, yes. Yes, I will mute you because it is disgusting. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining. Cole has just walked out of the room to blow his nose. He just leaves me here. Um, yes. Sorry. My mic is kind of falling about. So hopefully the audio is working well. We are trying a new setup. Um, Cole has his piano back, or his um, piano string back, which is fantastic. Um, he's still blowing his nose. Uh, yeah, no, it was fantastic. Uh, we had a little bit of stuff that was out of sync. So thank you for, I think it's Glenn and Christian Nilsson online that was kind of helping me adjust it. So um, hopefully it's all good. And um, yes, with the skipped couple of live streams or live streams because of the broken piano string, it meant that um, we could play around with a little bit more of the setup. And Colt is coming back. But uh, yeah, it was great having the um, intro um, longer. Obviously, it means for Cole to do that, he has to uh, run through stuff that he knows. So I have been taking a request. So thank you for all those on here. But um, as usual, please don't spam. I will put stuff in um, and write it down so I do see it and it's not for, fair for anyone. And Cole's back in. Right? Oh, and he's on mute you. Hello. Um, I yes, mean, I don't know what back. you've talked about while I'm away. Maybe we could talk about piano string yes i mentioned your piano string so you can explain what's happening. oh yeah so yeah I, I broke a piano string while i was recording a video um which was uh, quite impressive um and yeah so we've got it fixed now um and yeah we've got this like little like thing inside the piano to make sure it doesn't like detune for a bit because it's like a new string and you know um it's gonna like settle down um in a way but yeah um, it's all fixed now, so um, the piano should sound fine. It's because it was kind of doing this like weird kind of harmonic sound um, when it only had one string, which I don't know why. It really shouldn't, but yeah. Um, so no, that's kind of what it was. Um, yeah, and also, just generally because we're busy. Um, but yeah, no. Um, and also, the Tudor said because of what happened last time to maybe avoid it just in case. Because last time it broke. The string that was right next to it also broke at the same time. I well, don't think it was time. at the same time. Was it a it week? Was quite... Yeah, but a week or two after, and that's why um, it was kind of recommended. If you didn't have to, maybe just you know skip it. Um, but also because you go to music school, uh, it means we could. Well, when you're home, just not. Well, I mean, you also have this digital piano that's next to me anyway. Yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah, I guess. Talking about busyness, it is also half term for me. Um, I've just finished uh, the school half of the first half of school, which has been quite busy. Um, Stop slouching. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so quite a lot's actually happened this half of term. Uh, I had my mock exams. I actually don't think I talked too much about it because I think last live stream was like a request live stream, so I didn't really do so much. So yeah, I had my mock exams, got my results back, and it's all kind of promising um, to, for me to do well, hopefully, in my GCSEs. Um, but yeah, um, but I also got my result for my actual IGCC music, um, which was actually quite exciting. Um, I got A star, so I didn't embarrass myself, and yeah, no, it's all, um, all gr great um, on that front. So yeah, um, that was kind of near the beginning of term, moving, and then moving on, I don't actually know how many concerts I had. I think I remember performing um, a lunchtime concert uh, where I did a, a jazz piece, um, which was called Everybody's Jumping by Dave Brubeck. Um, I don't, I haven't posted it on YouTube. Um, but no, I think that's good. I guess that's worth noting. Also performed with the Chamber Choir on Friday, uh, and, um, also been working hard on a couple of, um, like some of my own arrangements of other like songs, like sort of for b bigger bands and kind of things like that. But also, what's more exciting is that um, recently I've been on, I think it was last Monday, I was on BBC Radio 2 um, because um, it, it was part of BBC Radio 2's Piano Room Month. 
So they do this like little segment um, called Piano in My Room, and they got me to open it. Um, and yeah, so I kind of talked about you know all the YouTube stuff, a bit about Purcell, and played a bit, um, which was uh, rocking all over the world status quo, or the Arsenal fans will know as Saka and Emil Smith Rowe, the chant. Um, so yeah. Um, that's exciting, and also I actually get to let you know that was that was the first half time. But I also think I can say about uh, you can say I can but say you cannot say too much. I can't say too much, but I am going to take be in uh, Channel 4's um, series of the piano. Um, I'm taking part in that um, where I think that uh, Claudia Winkleman is the presenter, and they're like looking for the. And the UK's undiscovered um, yeah. pianists. Um, and yeah. And that's pretty that's much cool. all you can say. Uh, so, and basically, it, um, um, you're not allowed, well, it's under embargo, which basically means you're not really allowed to say anything unless it's on. Except, except Lang Lang the... then posted it. And it's all, I mean, it's quite obvious that anyone knows you that you're on the trailer. Yeah, I'm on the trailer. I'm, like, I'm the second pianist on the thing. Um, so, yeah. so you're allowed to mention. That you're on the show because yeah they've given it's us kind the of green obvious, light to say but we can't yeah, say I'm anything the, else yeah they give me the green light to say yeah you can't even I'm say on the show what, because which... you know I've been on the trailer yeah. um, I think otherwise I probably wouldn't have been allowed to say anything until I was actually on the show on the show yeah but you know at least I can say that which is pretty cool um, yeah so exciting times yeah which is cool we can talk about other stuff later um, otherwise people will just get bored. Okay. So, what do you want to do? I should start my first song, probably. Yeah. And, and for those that don't know, Channel 4 is a TV channel in the UK. Um, I'm sure they must, I'm guessing they must do something internationally as well, but um, no idea. Uh, we'll see what we can do or what we're allowed to do, um, at minimum, um, for those that are on Patreon and are high to, um, I know many of you on here, uh, I'll make sure that you guys that are not in the UK will see it. Uh, we can't. For many copyright reasons, we can't put it public, but I'm guessing uh, it's available, uh, will be available on the internet internationally from Channel 4 anyway. Yeah, so um, let's move on to the first song. Um, so it's gonna, it's um, As It Was by Harry Styles. Um, he's just won, I think, the Grammy, Grammys and uh, the Brit Awards for his album, um, Harry's House, and also for this song. Um, so yeah, I think, I remember actually, um, Quite a lot of Amigos, um, meal videos. Amigos? Amigo videos, everyone, lots of people are asking for Harry Styles. He seems to be very, very, very popular on Amigo. Um, like mainly Watermelon Sugar, but um, I think this one, um, I think, well, I think it's been around for a year now, but like, um, but I thought it would be quite cool to make an arrangement and play it to you guys. So yes, this is As It Was by Harry Styles.
So yeah, that is uh, As It Was by Harry Styles. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Very good. Um, I forgot to mention that um, you may have missed it, or you mm -hmm. probably did not miss it. Say thank you to Ariane Narciso for a super chat. Oh, I uh, think I missed it. Then, you so. would have missed it in your, your thing. But, but yeah, thank request. you for the super chat. I'm hoping you can... Uh, I, I appreciate it a lot. Fantastic. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Speaking of appreciate a lot, um, you've got loads of patrons on again, um, as well as a few new ones. But uh, you've got loads of patrons, which kind of zoomed up the list for this broken chat box that I need to fix. Um, I can actually scroll up and down on there, but it's uh, it's very painful. Um, and it looks like there are other chat boxes which may work, but it, it kind of um, disappears off the background. So yeah. I do need to kind of try and fix it. So apologies for that. I will fix it somehow. Okay, well, um, I mean, I'm going to say a big thank you and hello to quite a lot of new patrons. Um, probably because uh, it's been, what, a month since the last one. Um, so, yeah, hello, uh, Carrie Learn, Tom C, and Elsie Adams. Um, and, yeah, as I have said earlier, thanks for um, the PayPal tips and holiday gifts as well. Um, so, yeah, quite a lot of you gave um, lots of things. Yeah. Teresa, Dan, Mike, Gary, and WizKids, um, Chad, Amadeo. Um, so many of you are already patrons as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys um, a lot. I also got this um, cute thing here. Uh, cute thing. Cute from, thing from Gavin. I th yeah, it's from a. It's Gavin, from George Gavin, and Gavin. Yeah, called George and Gavin. Um, and yeah, it looks really cool. I think I don't know if you can, like zoom in on the thing or. Uh, but if you like, you're asking me to break the live stream. Okay, don't you break mean? the live stream then. But look, it's quite cool. It's got like this like. It's actually a card. Well, it is that a card. Kind of pops up into. So, yeah, no, it's a happy birthday card. But it pops up into this, and I really like it. So, yeah. It's a, what is it, a cello? Looks like a double. piano, drum I think it's set. probably more like it's full on band. Double bass. And oh, double like bass. Strings right, okay, yes, you've just proven I know nothing about music. Thank you very much. No, you, I mean, you're quite close. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably that a double bass. That makes it even worse. Thank you for patronizing me. It's probably a double bass, <laughs> mainly because. Mainly because What's the difference between a double bass and a cello, though? Well, the double bass is much bigger. Thank you. There's a cello behind here. Is there? Look. And what's the other thing? A French horn. A That's trombone. a tuba. Okay. I'm now <laughs> embarrassing myself live on Instagram. There's a trombone here. There's, That's what I meant. And there's the French horn over here. That's got it? basically everything, which is quite cool. And I like it. Yes. How yeah. does it actually stay still? Because it looks like it's on a kind of a, a dome. So if you like just stand it up like that. It just balances perfectly on there. Yeah. Um, really cool. Cool. And Emma made you... A guitar. Oh yeah, Emma made this, which is for your birthday. Impressive. You have and to it show has, it. And it has. It's like, probably hiding behind the chat box. It is. Yeah, like and it has like an amp and a guitar, and it has like the cable in it as well, which is pretty cool. It doesn't work, um, but it's unlikely to work. If it worked, I would be like pretty impressed. But I think it looks really cool. And can you like move this as well? The whammy bar. I don't think you can move like the actual thing. We should you get you to play like your electric guitar at some point. I haven't played in ages because I'm not really a guitarist, but like, it's there. Why do you have three guitarists? Uh, three, three guitars if you're not a guitarist? Because well, three, right? Basically, basically, Emma's guitars. Well, Emma's the guitar. Well, they are now, but you had three or four at the beginning. That's right? true. I had loads of different ones. Um, actually, should I show this as well? Well, you're an Arsenal fan. I mean, I've got this cool thing, um, which Just I think is like a box. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to close that there because it plays an Arsenal chant. And this has like a cool calendar in it. I need to actually put this calendar up um, because I think I've had a calendar every year of Arsenal, which seems very, makes me look very spoiled. But uh, You are very spoiled. I am very spoiled, but but like even more spoiled. And I, and this is, I think it's pretty cool actually because um, if you look, if you, it can like, gives you like loads of different things in here about facts about Arsenal. And, those are cool and hopefully the biggest fact is eventually, maybe, fingers crossed, we will win the league this week, this year. Yeah, hopefully we'll win the league. Um, it's not really convincing. Speaking of which, Man City are probably still winning, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're winning 3-0 because I, right. I saw notifications on my phone um, <sighs> saying that Gundogan and Mahrez all scored. Well, that's not good. But we're still top of the league, just, until, just. until Wednesday. The key word is just. <laughs> And, and until Wednesday, until when we're Wednesday, not going to be top of the league anymore. When they, when but it was fun while it lost. When they spank us silly. Oh, but, I, need um, a, I need a cough. I, don't, I feel like I kind of feel like... Do you want me to put in mute whilst you, whilst yeah, you cough? That's all right. Okay. 
I'll, I'll mute everything because you'll probably be very loud. Are you, when are you going to cough? Now. Right, everything was muted. Mm. Um, so, yeah, fantastic. Thank you. And obviously, thank you to all the patrons that are on here. Um, I haven't seen Ari or Sizer, but Bob, um, Don, Chad. Uh, I'll have to scrub up now. It's my fault. I, I normally write you guys down as it kind of flies off the page, mm. um, but I was trying to catch up with the request. But um, Eric, Eric, um, RS the second, Rob Sheffner the second, I should say, RS the second. Well, there's a lot of messages yes. here. So, hi, and thank you to every single one of you as usual. But um, do you want to jump into the next one or do you want to carry on talking? I don't mind. <laughs> what should we do? I mean, I could actually, something to note that um, it has been my birthday recently. Well, um, yes. As you might have known. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, but um, the songwriter, Bert Bacharach, passed away on my birthday, um, which was quite um, sad because he's an amazing songwriter. And he actually wrote um, Close to You by the Carpenters. Um, he wrote it for them. Um, and yeah, he's written quite a lot of cool tunes. Um, so. Actually, maybe I should play a bit of close to you now. Yeah, yeah go for it. It should be, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, there's a bit of that. Um, so yeah, um, so that's I guess it's kind of like news, kind of. Well, I suppose news from a few days ago. Yeah. But yeah, still news. Um, you actually have a, a few questions related to your piano. Well, questions. Kind of your piano, your piano player. How often do you have your piano tuned? Do you actually know? Four months. Every four months, maybe. Yes, roughly. Uh, so like that. Um, most, I think most people get it tuned every half year. You kind of. Yours is about every three to four months. Mm. So a probably a little less than four months and a little bit more than three months there, thereabouts kind of depends on, a, um, uh, well, basically when your tuner guy is in the area. Um, the Dorito Dragon asked, don't you get carpal tunnel in your hands, as in arm ache, hand ache, finger ache when you're playing piano? Um, I, I guess you can, yeah. No, but do you, not can you? Sometimes. Yeah, I mean it's all about technique, right? So yeah. that's why they I mean, teach you technique it's, to well, I get not more like, injure yourself. I, I guess it hurts more if I'm like rock climbing. I don't know. How often do you, do you rock climb? I mean, that's probably because I don't rock climb often, or at all, really. Yes, the only time you've done any kind of rock climbing thing was that in the atrium down the road where you climb up the wall climbing thing. The places leisure. Yes, the places leisure. Not the, the atrium. Thing. Two different things. Is it? Yes. Oh, places leisure. Yes. Um, which is cool. Um, just copying a few more quests down. Um, but yes, hi, Ari. Apologies. I didn't, I was looking for your old name, uh, not your new uh, username. Your old fake one. When So hopefully you've managed to find out who, well, not who hacked you, but um, got yourself away from being hacked. Um, but uh, oh, Joan Fong says raindrops keep falling on my head. That's a uh, bit back right one. Do you know? Um, I didn't know the song, to be honest. You don't know Raindrops Keep Falling in My Head? Oh, if I listen to it... I Go listen to it now. It. I know, and, then, and this is not a play by ear, because as soon as you listen to it, you must know it. I must... It sounds familiar. Everybody knows it. Even I know it, and I do not know music. Oh, I've, by the way, Oliver Polar said, Happy birthday, are you 16 now? Uh, no, I'm actually 22. Very funny. Um, You're 16 and two days. No, four days. Yes. 16 and four days. Yes. Wait, so what's it called again? Raindrops keep falling on my head. 
by B.J. Thomas. Well, everyone will be the same. No, true. I mean, given the fact that it is the most famous song in the world, probably. This is a wee where Cole tells me he's never heard of this song. Have I heard it? You must have heard it. This is not possible for you to have not known it. It seems familiar, but I don't know where it's... You would have learnt it in some nursery, I'm sure. Really? Yes. Anyway, do it as a play by ear then, if you don't know it, somehow. Oh. You're probably looking up the Man City score right now. Aren't no, you? it's because the notification just told me Aston Villa scored. See, I was right. I can tell when you're not paying attention to music. I'm and sorry. It's football. I'm just looking at this, <laughs> and then it tells me that Aston Villa scored. Oh, actually, show people your um, your lock screen. Oh yeah, my lock screen actually. That might be quite useful. Well, not, well, not useful. useful. It's an interesting fact that, that some people may know. That's my, that's you me. need to be clo a lot closer to the camera. That's keep me. going, keep coming close. No, as in at least a meet. Actually, don't don't come closer. I've come closer. You now. are now just showing the black screen. What? Look at your phone. <laughs> See. So this is me um, holding the Olivier Awards because it was like outstanding achievement in music for um, for being on the School of Rock. For being on the School of Rock. Yes. Now you can go back. Right. So. Do you know Raindrops play by ear now? Um, almost. Come on. <laughs> well, everyone's already clicked off now. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I can try and play a bit. Yeah, go on. I think that confirms you did not know. <laughs> I didn't. You got it. Well, it's kind of a jazzy version of it, which is quite cool. Well, I think maybe I was... you should do a jazzy version of it. But that's what I kind of heard. Like it was like kind of like two feel. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Yeah, no. It's a... As you say, it is something like that. But I think it proves that you. Maybe it's like. As I said, it sounds pretty cool. I th maybe you need to do a jazzy version in, in honour of... A that was just what I was listening to. <laughs> yes. Or maybe that's what they played, what they sang. Mm. But uh, do you need to blow your nose again? Or are you okay? I'm okay. Fine. I think. Um, so, yeah. What should I do? It's up to you. <laughs> this is your live stream. I'm just back in poker. Okay, let's move on to the next song, I think. Um, so, um, this one... Um, I don't know, I don't really have much to say apart from, I guess, I was looking at acid at school um, and I just thought I wanted to make a cover of it. And it's, and it's a really cool song. <laughs> That's about it. It's How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees, who are also really great songwriters. They wrote like other tunes for other people. And as you're well. slouching. And, oh, <laughs> okay, How Deep Is Your Love by Bee Gees. I'm going to take these off because it looks a bit weird. Yes. Are you sure you don't need to blow your nose? Should I go? That's a hint. All I'm hearing, because I get it straight into my headphones. Okay. <laughs> it's disgusting. I'm going to go. Blow yes, go my blow nose. your nose. Right, so Cole's gone on from you again. I apologise for Are that. Are you sure? <laughs> the disgusting sounds of him slurping his nose. Um, but uh, he will be back. 
they play the Bee Gees um, when he is uh, back. Sorry, I'm, I'm poking with more things to try and get uh, pictures of the Bee Gees up on. The screen screen is fun, but it, it complicates things for me, um, trying to get it to work. Um, he's in the toilet. I'm glad he's on mute. Um, but uh, what, what's happening? So yes, what can I say about the piano? Yeah, the piano was fun. Um, I never, I didn't go with him. He, um, he went with his mummy. Uh, it, it's one of the things that was completely out of the blue that we, we were just contacted and saying, would you like to take part in? Um, similar to, or actually the BBC Radio 2, um, completely out of the blue, uh, received a phone call and said, ah, oh, we are doing the piano in, in the room thing. Uh, would you like to take part? It would be great. Um, recently, Cole posted a video, um, as he says, we are Arsenal fans, if it's not clear. Arsenal beat Man U, and uh, he played the Arsenal um, Saka and M. Smith throw chant, which is based on uh, status quo, rocking all over the world. And it went a little bit viral on tic uh, TikTok, Twitter. Um, not... Bohemian Raps, the crazy 140 million videos, uh, views viral, but, uh, and then got contacted and do we want to come on um, live and play stuff? And Cole is back. Hello. Still slightly sniveling, but uh, not as bad. Oh. Right, so. It's not going to go away forever. No. So, Bee Gees. Yes, Bee Gees. Okay, go for it.
So yeah, that is How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Very good. Do you want to be back in the dungeon? Do I want to be back in the dungeon? Yes. What was I in before? I thought I was always in the dungeon. You had the Bee Gees standing behind you, uh, <laughs> looking at you whilst you were playing. Cool. Uh, which is cool. Um, but yes, no, very nice. Because you've got another Bee Gees one in your head somewhere. Yeah, um, I played, I, I, I think, um, I went out to St. Pancras recently. Yeah, um, two weeks twice. Um, yeah, I went yesterday, I met a few subs, which was pretty cool, met Bob as well. Um, and then two weeks before, I'd also came out. Um, uh, um, um, well, because um, just having been out for ages. Yes, that's, yeah. So no, I went out um, and I played uh, How Deep Is Your Love. I also played More Than A Woman by the Bee Gees, so I guess that will come up. Maybe in a later live stream, or maybe it just doesn't come up in a live stream at all. Um, but I think it would be cool to play it at some point. Um, yep. Yeah, I could also tease a couple of other tunes I've been playing recently. Um, I played uh, Gimme, 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 and Man After Midnight, ABBA, um, two weeks ago. Oh, yes, is that so the one that you did with um, with the other um, the chap? I can't remember his name. Fraser Burns. No, I did a different ABBA. I did I did Mamma Mia and Dance of Queen. Yeah, like like an improvised duet thing again. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Then yesterday I did "You Are Not Alone," Michael Jackson. That would be a nice. One. That's a nice one. Um, I think it'd be cool to play it. Yes. Um, my friend's actually um, sings it very well, mainly because he's got like a higher pitch voice than I do. Cool. Um, you should play the piano he sings. That'd be cool. Did you? Yeah, you should actually ask if any of your friends at school want to be on, obviously with their permission and their parents' permission as well. You guys recording something will be really cool. Yeah. Um, and I guess speaking about YouTube stuff, I can talk about numbers maybe. Um, yeah, it's gone crazy recently. Yeah, it's great. Um, there seems to be a big push on YouTube because we finally crossed 900,000, um, I think in January. Yeah, it was creeping up was, and then suddenly a big jump. I think we'd crossed 900. I think we'd cross 900 last live stream. Could be. I or whatever it is, we're on 915 now, which is quite cool. Um, so onwards to 1 million. Yes. Um, and yeah, I think one of the big drivers is the one I did with, um, I think it was Isabel. At the, in our local. In, yeah, the local piano. So that's actually crossed 6 million views now, which is um, impressive. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, Facebook's on 276, Instagram 17k, TikTok yeah, they've, 28k. They, they've uh, kind of stalled a bit. But, yeah, yeah, kind of just doing its thing. And Twitter's actually on 2.2k, um, mainly from a... All Arsenal fans. Yeah, Arsenal fans. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Yeah. So yes. we've had a big rise in proportion um, on Twitter, which is pretty cool. Yeah, because that used to be on, like, 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hardly any... And then TikTok kind of caught up with it and then Zoom passed, but... Um, and yeah, yeah, it's passed Instagram as well. Yeah, yeah. And right. Twitter is just, like... Yeah. Twitter's like, oh, I don't care. But, I mean, you don't really fit Twitter anyway, not in terms of doing the stuff, but uh, maybe, you know, the odd random short bit. Uh, but uh, hopefully you will cross a million at some point. Mm. Um, I think that's a gold plaque somewhere. For it. Your silver one's upstairs somewhere, isn't it? Well, yeah, I don't have a gold one yet. Yeah. But I'd love to. And I think it's also bigger as well. I'm guessing it's bigger because it's a bigger thing. Right, anyway, mm. do you want to move on to stuff? Stuff. That yes, the request like, that I've kind of scribbled down. I think it's a good idea to move on to some stuff. Yes. Uh, right, okay. You need to plug some, something in your ear. I shall. So this is the play by ear section. Loads of requests. So oh God, uh, my phone's on certainly 10%. on all the requests that you had earlier that you couldn't play straight off the top of your head, I wrote down. Uh, so some of these will be... Um, I might have to interleave it with um, stuff you know, because otherwise... It will be boring people watching you listen all the time. So, Ariane Nakiso, um, who gave you the super chat at the beginning, said, Oh God, I am going to put this in the chat. In the chat? Wait. So yeah, I have to go First to Love by Utada Hikaru? First, first Love. Now you've given me the cough. Do I have a drink? I do. It's actually Hikaru Yutada rather than Yutada Hikaru. Okay. Well, it's, it actually works both ways. 
So for those that know, okay, don't know, so Kwasa to listen to it in, in his ear. What if it started? Oh, it started. So we can't play what he listens out loud because YouTube. I think it's Korean. Because YouTube will eat the video. We've done this oh. before. What I find weird with K-pop. Oh, it's K-pop. Um, it's not like K-pop, K-pop. It feels like a, like a, it's very ballady. Okay. Which is not like K-pop. Okay. But what I find really weird is that they sing um, in Korean and English at the same time. It's probably trying to hit a global market. I think so. But it's yes. weird. So again, Cole is listening. Like it says yeah. Korean and there's just a flavour in the middle of it. Okay. I think I cough again. <coughs> I'll put you mute. But there the mics would have picked you up anyway. Are you just listening to the whole song? No. I'm going to listen to that bit. Okay. I don't know how much of it it is. It's not really much to one, I think. Okay. Is that? It sounded nice. <laughs> Um, I have no idea how accurate it is because I have no idea what it is. Mm. Um, but sure. no, that's cool. Right. I, let's put something in here that isn't something that you do not know, uh, which is a challenge because you <laughs> played most of them. Um, right. X underscore GH from a while ago asked, how's Moving Castle? I mean, I played that a while ago. I, I mean, I'll play it again. You can play a little bit of it again and roll it into a little bit of golden now then. Which I, I know you also played a few moments ago. So just do that. Okay, one that you, you, I don't think you know. Um, otherwise, I'm guessing you would have played it, or if you played it, I did not recognise it because I don't know the song. Uh, Chad Hodd, who is one of your patrons, has requested uh, "Give a Little Bit" by Super Trap. I think if you play it, I will recognise it because I think I recognise the title anyway. Uh, give a little bit. Just give a little bit. Yes, by Super Trap. I can't type. Give a little bit. Super tramp. Yeah. I think I need to find a way where you'll have headphones and I can put the requests in for you. Because then that way, it's easier for you. Oh, I didn't realise Lala was behind me. Speaking of Lala and um, Gemma Shepherds. I don't think I've seen Destiny on here. Destiny, I hope you're well. Um, I know you'll probably, if you're not here now, you'll watch this later anyway, but hopefully you're well. Uh, Cole, meant, Cole told me about uh, Ranger being uh, unwell, um, so hopefully he does get better. Um, but Cole mentioned um, something about uh, you also get another, um, um, not guide dog, um, helper dog. I'm probably, I don't know what a helper dog means, but hopefully that means what it is. Right, so Cole's ready. What, what, what is this? Give a little bit super trap. Okay, give a little bit super trap. Go for it.
Very good. The random <laughs> note at the end. Um, <laughs> um, it, I recognised it, which is cool. It's good which to hear. presumably means it was reasonably accurate, or I don't know what I'm here listening to either. Um, did you play the Naruto theme earlier? No, because I don't know it. Or, well, or I probably know it, but I haven't. Got. Yeah, it's one of those that I think you get asked every so often on, on the Meagle. Not that you've done the Meagle for ages and you need to um, get back to prove your listening um, uh, playing by ear. Not that you're not proving it here. Um, I think you've been asked for it a few times, as I said, on the Meagle. You'll probably recognise it as soon as you listen to it again. Would it be on the... It might be on a... Well, I've, I can listen to a cover. It's going to be the same thing anyway. Well, assuming the cover's a good cover, but yeah. There's so many anime ones that you've been asked to do. Okay, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to just uh, look it up on YouTube. Naruto. Theme. God's sake. Here we are. Actually, I wonder if you can watch all anime on, on YouTube. It gets a bit with actual music then. Yeah, Colt doesn't really watch anime. He did watch your line April. Wait, Everyone there's lots of main it. themes. I'm assuming the original, original. Oh, wait, it's this one. See? It's this. No, it, but it's a different opening. Is it? But this is the one I recognise. Then I'm guessing it is that one. Well, this is the third opening. Okay. Because what I was listening to definitely didn't sound like an anime song. Maybe you need to watch anime so you can play all the anime ones and get really popular. No, because anime songs are usually like kind of rock and kind of incredibly fast. Okay. Anyways. So this is going to be Naruto. I am going to challenge you, and based on the fact that you said anime names to be rock and incredibly fast, I'm going to make you create an anime opening on the fly. Right, so go for it. Yes, I've heard you play that before. So for me, that's the Naruto opening. Great. Again, I would not have known it until you've played it. Right, so you said anime openings tend to be rock and fast. Yeah. So create me a completely random anime theme as if you've just been commissioned. What, like? Tell me, wait, tell me what the plot roughly is so we can imagine it. Well, I don't really know plots of anime. They're from, wow, either love or, like, superhero is going to, like, kill people. Okay, so this anime that's coming next week is about love and superheroes killing people. That's oh, a weird monsters, one. Monsters, monsters. Monsters killing people and superheroes fighting them Fighting back, to save the day. <laughs> and they fall in love, clearly. Yeah. And there's always someone who dies. Tragically. <laughs>
So that's an anime opening yeah. of monsters killing people with superheroes fighting them and people falling in love and then dying. <laughs> so apparently, um, Doc P said, wow, Malachi Thompson says, it reminds me a bit of Dragon Ball, so well done. Um, I'm, I'm assuming, I know you haven't watched any of them. Actually, I'm going to make you play another one. You lie in April, mainly because people compared you to you and oh. we were thinking, what the heck is that? Especially when people were replying, you're lying April, and you were replying, I didn't lie. <laughs> it was quite funny. But uh, anyway, so you're lying April. Twenty-one episodes was it that one? I think so, yeah. Which makes it easier for you since you meant you had to listen to it twenty-one times. Um, but I'm sure we must have skipped the intro at some point. Um, this is cool. I think actually the intro changed halfway through or something. Um, the outro changed halfway. Was it outro? Okay, that shows you how much attention I pay to. Well, actually, that. I don't remember if it's the outro or the intro. So you've but either way, something changed. Yeah. So you've played this. Well, you listened to it before and you played it, and then you've not played it probably for two years or something. Um, how does it stick in your head? Does it all just stick in your head? Uh, what do you mean? As in, you've not played this for at least a year and a bit, and you can play it again. Because I think I've played it in the past year. Oh, okay. And does it like the music when, kind of uh, stick? Cara Delevingne watched me. Oh, and St Pancras. Yeah, that was, I think that was last year. Was it last year? Oh, I can't remember what any of this. Well, now you do. I do. Your memory is obviously better than mine um, as well. Um, so, which is fantastic. Right, okay. Let's go and pick something where uh, I think you know. I'm trying to alternate between stuff you don't and don't know. So, foul 14 a asks, can you play We Are The World by Michael Jackson? You I must know. I don't that. think I do. That's another classic song that how can you not know this? Well, it maybe goes somewhere, I we are the world, it. we are the people, or something like that. Oh, maybe I do know. Wait, hang on, this one says it's by USA for Africa. Yes, it probably is. It, I think it was used... Um, oh, no! I think either Foul 14. So that's Band-Aid, or one of the AIDS. I well, wonder USA if for meant, Africa, Yes, AIDS. I wonder whether that uh, Val 14 meant heal the world. Oh, I know heal the world. Yes. Make a choice. You I'm going to play heal the world. Heal the world by Michael Jackson. Rolling into Earth Song, which is also related to the world. I'm listening to Weird the World. It sounds like a pretty Michael Jackson song. Yeah, I know. Maybe Anyways, I'm going to play heal the world. Into World's Earth Song. Stuff. Sure. Okay.
There we are. Really cool. Thank right. you. You've got to do one um, from Don, who's your uh, patron. No, yep. That's it. Lars wanted to come in thinking, where are my treats? Because he used to get treats at the end of every live stream. That's like a long time ago. I know, ago until we had more cable. Lars, sit. Well, that is sitting. Whoa, well set like that. Right, so Don Adam said, Happy birthday, Carl. So good to be with you and your family and the other patrons in the room today. My other unit request will be a bit of Jerry Lee Lewis's 16 Candles, which 16. is very relevant since you only had five candles on your birthday cake because I didn't want to burn the house down. Do not spit it out. Uh, you must make me laugh. Okay, so um, state, la -la's, la -la, sixteen la -la, candles is it? Lala state, Lala is ignoring me and creeping forward. Wait, who's it? Wait, Jerry Lee Lewis, yeah. Yes. See, Lala just realised I'm not hearing, and he's just got all. Where's Jerry Lee Lewis? Jerry Lee's sixteen candles. I don't know. I'm guessing it is sixteen candles. Oh wait, no, that's sixteen songs never released. What? Where is 16 Candles? Dala, come back. Come back. Oh, it's because it's, it's literally in words 16 Candles. As in S-I-X-T-E-E-N. Yeah. As opposed to the number 16. You would think Spotify or Amazon Music would have been smart enough. Anyways, I'm going to play it now. I'm guessing it's a fast one. Well, then you've guessed wrong. Is it slow? Do you mm -hmm. really need to play slow? It's a bit with Roy Orbison, Johnny Cash, and Carl Perkins. So it's not just Jerry Lee Lewis. But I think it sounds like just Jerry Lee Lewis, so I don't know what's going on. So again, Cole's listening in his ear. It'll be interesting because I have no idea what this even remotely sounds like. But I'm sure Dawn will confirm. Maybe we can try and get a second version. This is called radio silence when Cole's just listening. I should get yeah, it sure. zoomed in your face. Right, so um, was this 16 candles, yeah. but written in words, apparently? Sixteen candles. I think you play jazz really well. Thank you. Which is quite lucky, given that's what you want to do. Mm. Um, but uh, yes, it's uh, <coughs> certainly an old one. Well, not an old one. A pretty old one. Yeah, compared to what I in my head, what Jerry Lewis does, it's different from what um, is in my head. Um, but no, it's cool. Um, Scott Dawson, um, who. Is, where is it? Up here. Da, 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 da. There you go. Right, Attack on Crack Titan, another anime. Um, I wonder if you've done this as well. It I must be probably popular. have. Again, probably as an Amigo one. I recognise the name. I mean, I don't watch anime. I recognise the name. Guren. In fact, I'm going to have to type it in the chat, copy it in the chat. There's no way I'm going to be able to say that correctly. And for you to then cop, um, look it up. 
it's that in the chat if you're in wait the sorry chat. in the chat wait, let me get where's the chat oh it's because i'm searching up attack on titan wait what am i looking for attack on titan it's guren g-u-r-e-n space n-o space y-u-m-i-y-a i'm i know i'm speaking fast and you can type guren no yumiya that's it Um, wait, I need to check. Guren? No. Oh, Yumiya. That's it. Here we are. Uh, this one? Oh. So again, for those that have just joined, or um, where were you? We've been on for an hour and a half. Um, Cole's listening on his ears, and we can't play out the thing he's listening live on YouTube. We'll eat the video like they did a few, couple of times before. So all the play by ear things Cole's listening to, which which does mean there's a bit of a dead air time that I have to fill with my inane ramblings, and sometimes. He listens for longer, so I have to talk more. I should put some mood music on. I'll just do this bit, I think. Probably should put a poll and ask um, what are the big anime yeah. ones that Cole should do. Okay, you ready? Yep. Go for it. <laughs> Assuming that was good. I hope so. I have no idea. I don't even know what it sounds like. Right. Another one of your um, uh, patrons. Let's do uh, two or three more because um, I'm hungry. Um, Me too. Yes. Rob Shaft in a second. Another one, another one of your patrons. Clarinet Polka. I wonder if you've done that. Uh, there's no way. Um, who's it by? I have no idea. Well, then... I'm guessing it's either by Clarinet or Polka. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, that was a joke. I'm pretty sure it will not be. Clarinet, Clarinet polka. polka. God also says... Oh, um, Weird Al. Weird Al. Weird Al Yankovic. Really? I'll be amazed if it was originally by him. Um, Scott Dawson asks, uh, does it mean you will be driving soon? I think in theory you can do your driving test soon. Or start learning it. Well, Cole actually, because of his stupid memory, already knows everything th there is to know about the driving theory stuff. Um, the, but the stuff he has to remember, but the observational this. stuff. Um, I can't even remember what a UK law is. He probably can't drive through a 17, but he can start um, doing tests soon. Right, uh, what's this one? Clarinet polka. <laughs> Close. I mean, it sounds like it would be something like that. It's know. funny you closing your eyes that hard whilst you're playing, as if I'm guessing you're trying to remember and play it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't remember any of it apart from the chords. <laughs> you're just trying to improvise. <laughs> I have no idea. It's Honestly, very, very I have quick. no idea what that, that whether that was even remotely close. Um, right. Um, oh, God, Fanzo, I just saw your comment. I was literally about to jump onto your request. I'm going to bump you down one more. <laughs> Please what? don't spam. Our fans have been spamming. Oh. And every time, I, every time, as, as I say, any, I write out requests. Every time a request comes back again, it drops to the bottom of the list. <laughs> and, I, and it kind of slowly, and you literally were just coming to the top of the list. And I have knocked you down one again. I promise I will do it. Please do not spam. Right. Here we go. This is the one. Uh, I wonder if he's still on. Let me check if he's still on. If he's still on, we'll do it. Um, I'm I, actually I don't even know if it's the one. Um, it was uh, Daniel the Blocks Gamer. Um, can you also please do whatever happened to old fashioned lover? I'm guessing that's the Queen one. 
That's good old fashioned lover boy. But like, yes. whatever happened to it? Oh, Rob Schaffer said, uh, next time it was close, can you play with your clarinet? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're grade seven clarinet, you can do it. Yeah, but that was like three years ago. And I don't play clarinet anymore, really. Yes. I mean, I know how to play it, but it's not like I... Ah, oh, Daniel the Blocks Gamer is here. Wait, um, whatever happened to what? A uh, good old-fashioned lover boy. Or oh, actually, a lot earlier, he asked... Wait, what happened to what, good old-fashioned lover boy? As in, presumably... Oh, is that actually a song? I'm assuming... Um, I assumed it was referring to good old... I think it's referring to good old-fashioned, because I have no idea what you're talking about. So let's play good old-fashioned No, no, no. Whatever happened to old-fashioned love? That was the request. He's just confirmed. Um, otherwise, I offered for him to choose the Lincoln Imps one instead. But whatever happened to old-fashioned love? So why are you just trying to get me to play? I'm not. <laughs> it just says whatever happened to old-fashioned love. I don't know if that's the name. Are you playing, playing by ear immediately as you're listening? No, that's good old-fashioned lover boy. Is it? Okay, anyway. Uh, jump to what, what to... old-fashioned love. I'm glad he's on, because I would have no idea what this is. Okay, ready. Was that by BJ Thomas? Yes. Yes, then it's correct. Go for it. Wait, I think I said that wrong. Hang on, let me do that again. Very good. No idea. Marge West asks, well, I'm assuming, oh, I say very good, as in it sounds nice, I don't know if it's accurate or not. Um, mm. Daniel, the blocks gamer, will confirm in a second. Uh, Marge West, Cole, do you have a photographic memory? Maybe. I don't Probably. think you do. As in, I think it's called eidetic or eidetic memory. As in, if you look at it, you can basically visualise it straight away. I don't think you do. I think you I say, think I do then. Really? I'm going to test you. Um, I think, actually, you just have a very, 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 very good memory. That's probably what it is. For example, you can remember pi to 101. So, well, you could test me about photographic memory. Cause... How? Yeah. How can I prove it that no one, people can't see that you, you're Show not Show me something and then hide it from me and I remember what it is. It'll be easier if you can remember. Actually, let's do this. Okay, this is kind of scary now. It's not, because um, you're going to have to give me a few seconds. Because I have to drag something onto the desktop and then drag something onto the screen. Sure, I shall wait. Well, that didn't work. As in, it did work, but it worked horribly. Oh, is this the mood music? That's very good. What? As in you're playing mood music. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you. Right, so. Have you got it? Yes. What is it? Well, I don't know what it is. You have no idea what it is. Just do not look at the screen. That will be cheating. That's cheating. I just saw you look at the and screen. It's, bl it's black. Okay, fine. Well, black screen. So, well, when you anymore. were... I don't know. How uh, old were you when you learnt the periodic table? I learned periodic table when I was eight, nine, eight, maybe. So it's now on the screen. Yeah. Just go from the beginning. Hydrogen. 
Wait, but then that's not photographing memory. Well, that's, it's not photographing memory, but it's proving your memory. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc, gallium, germanium, arsenic, selenium, bromine, krypton, rubidium, strontium, yttrium, zirconium, niobium, molybdenum, tenetium, ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, silver, cadmium, indium, tin, antimony, tellurium, iodine, xenon, cesium, barium, lanthanum, cerium, praseodinium, neodymium, promethium, samarium, europium, gallinium, terbium, dysprosium, holmium, erbium, thulium, ytterbium, lutetium, um, hafnium, tantalum, tungsten, um, rhenium, rhodium, wait no, that's wrong, um, rhenium, osmium, iridium, platinum, gold, mercury, um, I think thallium, is it? And then lead, bismuth, polonium, um, acetine, radon, francium, radium, uh, actinium, thorium, protactinium, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, curium, bacillium, californium, einsteinium, fermium, mendelevium, nivellium, lorentium, rutherfordium, dominium, cyborgium, borium, hassium, arnerium, dastedium, regenium, carbonicium, um, and then these stupid new ones, nihonium, nihonium uh, fluorovium, moscovium, livermorium, tennessine, and organesin. Okay, I'm assuming that's correct. Is it correct? I have no idea. Emma's nodding her head. I feel like number 81 I got wrong. I have no idea. I don't know the mirror. But I table. think it is thallium, I think. Okay. Thallium. And then last bit. Stop looking at the screen. I not. I'm Stop look, cheating. I'm looking for element. I know, 81. but that's not the point. Anyway, so. Head back up. Look I was me. right. It is thallium. Yes. Right. So, <laughs> okay, then I do last remember. bit before we run off and play. I have to check if Anzo is re requested again, otherwise he drops off the list. Pi to 100 di digits. Was that the request? No, that's my request. Just to prove your memory. I don't know. I can't remember. Well, I mean, I probably can, but... 3.141415926535897932284196931971693993751058201 Ooh. Hang on, hang on. 05820. Oh, I've forgotten now. That's 05820, yes. Four? No, no. nine. 97494592307816406286208998628034825315. Four two one one seven oh six seven nine, and the bonus number is eight. Eight. I only remember the bonus number because you said that enough. So one hundred and one digits. Really loud. Thank you very much. The one hundred and first digit is eight. eight. That's all. Okay, I so I missed one number, but then with the prompt, I got the rest of it. Yes. Right. Okay. So I can't see that Fanzo has spammed anything else. So Therefore, what is the song? You get to play Fanzo's request. Okay. And it is, let me pull the thing back up. Bohemian Rhapsody. It is not. It is Ava Max. Ava Max. Million Dollar Baby. Million Dollar Baby. Oh, Destiny's here. Um, hi, Destiny. Hello. I hope you are okay. Um, Million Dollar Baby. Ava Max. Yes, it is there. Uh, someone had uh, scrolled off the screen again. It's very annoying. Um, you you did a um, periodic table song. Oh, it's not well. It's not your song. It's someone else's song. Um, but yes. So Ava Max, million dollar baby. Okay, this is the course here probably. Yeah, so as Glenn says, um, well, this is the longest one. Is that one hour and 43 minutes? YouTube has not eaten it. It used to um, oh, about, an, about an hour and 20 minutes in it, it to be tends to kind of 
just crash. Maybe YouTube is alive. I can do high A's on the piano easily by pressing one note. We've just been told it's dinner time, so this is the last one. Okay. So, over max. Million, million dollar, dollar, baby. Go for it. I'm assuming it's right. Uh, I've right. waited all the time for it, so I'm assuming it's good. So okay, otherwise. cool. Yes, so um, we've been frantically waved at for dinner, so we need so to... So I guess that will be it. I hope you guys enjoy the live stream. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, Patreon, music notes, merch, and yeah. So thank you, and see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Yes, you can drink from your cup. I can drink from my cup. And you can sniff from that. Wait, is there anything else I missed from the weeks? The weeks. <laughs> like, since my last live stream. Basically, the whole year. What? What are <laughs> you, you know, like, on about? Uh, I've been on Radio 2, and I've... I don't know. That's about it. But I, I went to St Pancras twice, and... I went to the Arsenal match. I didn't say I went to the Arsenal match. And we drew 1-1, and that was not great, uh, because Man City have won. And now we play Man City next, and we're going to probably lose and not be... We will the not lose. Game. We will win. Yeah, we can't go to that one, unfortunately. It's in the middle of the week, but... Uh... Yes. you're working. Yes, I have to work. Not this stuff that you make me do. But uh, anyway, thank you, everybody. Um, off to eat dinner and hopefully chicken wings. Yeah. Okay, see you. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.